Alright, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today what I got in store is another review of a deck box, or as Ultimate Card calls it, a deck case. This is the Ultimate Guard Twin Flip and Tray Xenoskin Deck Case 200 Plus. This is like a premium deck case product. I'm excited to have this, I'm excited to overview it. This is brought to you, uh, they, the maker of it is Ultimate Guard. Uh, it is the green color. Uh, it says Ultimate Guard Xeno Skin. I guess that's kind of the textured uh, material they have on the outside. Original product UG Ultimate Guard. Original product, and uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the images real quick. It says Ultimate Guard Premium Microfiber Inner Lining, Super Rigid Double Layer Skin for Maximum Protection. So it's gonna, it should be, uh, I guess, a nice a texture and like skin on the exterior. Magnus designed for a very strong closure. So it is a magnet closure on this, uh, not Velcro or anything like that, so hopefully they're really strong neodymiums. Innovative Xenoskin material with anti-slip texture. Again, they're pushing their Xenoskin uh, technology or, or, yeah, removable card and dice trays. Looks like it comes with two deck trays and one uh, dice tray that fit inside the outer uh, deck case. They call these deck cases instead of deck boxes just because I think case sounds more luxurious than a box. That's really, I think, why. Fully independent access to dice and accessory tray. So you're able to open the side of the dice uh, container, I guess, and just pull out the dice if you need to. Hold up to 200 double card sleeves. I have a bunch of cards over here, single sleeved, uh, double sleeved, and just unsleeved cards. And we we'll see how many fits in the containers. Fully independent access to each card tray. So it looks like there's three doors in the exterior, one door for one card tray, one door for the dice tray, and one door for the other card tray. Uh, dice cards and sleeves not included. Digital rendering shown, actual product made different in shape and color. Uh, this is the Twin Flippin' Tray 200 Plus Green, designed in Germany, made in China. This is uh, their QR code for your YouTube, Ultimate Guard, probably their recycling, uh, their Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, UltimateGuard.com. And looks like other languages on the back of it and on the side. Twin flip and tray, uh, Xeno skin deck case. Holds up to 200 double sleeve cards or 240 single sleeve cards in ultimate guard sleeves. I remember last time when I reviewed uh, their boulder deck case. It said 100 uh, single sleeve cards, I believe, on the side of it. But in ultimate guard sleeves and I couldn't get 100 single sleeve cards of dragon shield to fit in there. So let's see if this is the same. And... Uh, Three removable trays, uh, two card trays, and one dice tray and accessory tray. Fully independent access to each card or accessory tray. Innovative Xenoskin material with anti-slip texture. Premium microfiber inner lining. It's weird, it's like a thumbs up. Five magnets for very strong closure. Super rigid double layered skin for maximum protection. Optimized for sleeved card types, double and single sleeves, standard size. Premium protection, ultimate guard. Got a little wing on the side of the box. Not too bad. Good packaging. They do really well with that. And uh, let's just go ahead and open this up and uh, kind of see what it's about. I'm excited for this deck box and I wanted something different, a little more premium. And uh, right off the bat, um, it does feel quite nice and it's not really picking up anything. Um, I do have warm hands and it's not really picking up anything. It does feel quite thick and uh, good material and very uh, sturdy. It seems like there's paper or something inside. I'll open it up. Let's go to check out the exterior. Looks like it's sewn together, sewn together, stitched uh, twin flip and tray. Uh, looks like this was branded in. 200 plus uh, deck case. You got the Ultimate Guard logo right here. You got the Ultimate Guard guy on the bottom that's again pressed in there, kind of leaving like the black. And uh, yeah, just a really clean design. Pretty big. Let's compare it to like the size of some other deck boxes. This is, um, uh, um, this is the Boulder, their other product. Uh, this is the Ultra Pro uh, Satin Tower, which I love. And uh, this is just like another, uh, what is this? Uh, a Legion's uh, just Velcro deck box. And then just like a small regular Ultra Pro deck box. And then let's compare it to like the sides of all of them. You can see that it's about the same width as the Satin Tower. It is longer than this, or wider than the Satin Tower on one side. Um, quite smaller, I mean quite larger than... Uh, just a regular deck box and like probably like double the size. Exactly, pretty much double the size. You can see like two of them fit on top and line up to it. 
Uh, go ahead and compare it with this. Cool. And uh, I believe these are compatible on the interior that will fit inside there. And it kind of does look like it will. I wonder if the 100 plus version of the boulder will fit or only if the 80. But I only have the 80. But anyways, uh, just wanted to compare it to the size of other products. And uh, yeah, let's see. It looks like uh, the first thing is uh, the dice box. You got, um, oh cool, they got like a foiling there. So they must have pressed it on with a heat and foil. You got like a nice... Uh, fabric feeling almost uh, I, I can't remember the name of this material it says it's a microfiber lining it feels like felt or something like that it feels nice though an ultimate guard this is definitely like a premium product you got the little ultimate guard guy right here got like a little red thing on mine but it doesn't really matter it doesn't really bother me I wonder if, if it's just like pressed in there from the machine when they pressed it the logo on like a red box or something uh, cool, uh, really tight fit. Everything seems very flush. Nothing seems like it's flopping around. And well, there's not much in there, but I'm just curious if it'll like open up. So, anyways, uh, it's really easy to get this open. Just kind of slide it with your finger. You don't have to pry it. I was wondering if it would be kind of hard. Eh, just slide it. Cool. And then uh, the same with these two other ones. Uh, they have like it seems like pretty strong magnets on here. Be curious. It looks like you got one, two. It says there's five. You got three, four, five. I wonder if it's only five mannequins and then just like a metal sheet in here because it, it it doesn't seem like they have ten. Otherwise, they would probably said that it has ten magnets, and it doesn't. Uh, right off the bat, it opens up. Uh, it is this is a pretty pretty big deck box when it's all open. It's uh pretty big. <laughs> it really is about the size of it like this makes it seem just huge almost like a backdrop or something kind of open this up oh cute it's got like a little thank you inside pretty nice they do a really good job on their like packaging this is like really nice paper a lot of companies really don't do stuff like this I feel like if you buy like just a a smaller cheaper deck box or something it's just gonna come with <laughs> with just that that like just the box itself it says thank you uh, anything wrong don't worry we're here to help just send a message we'll help you on the way Satisfied, uh, just like let us know on their social, kind of share it. Well, I'm kind of doing that right now. And uh, thanks for purchasing our product. We share our passion for carefully crafted details, uh, intelligent functionality, and superior quality. We hope you enjoy the purchase. Cool, uh, really nice, and actually really nice paper. You can see it's kind of got like a like a pressed, like crossed line done or something like that. Really cool cardstock. And it comes with one of these like uh, silica beads for... I guess uh, keeping it uh, nice and dry in there. And you got two of these small little deck boxes. They are the same size. Pretty cool. They got like a little thumb slot, so it's easy to pull them out with it. Uh, you got the same like suede material on the inside there. The Xeno skin exterior. On the back of them, they both say Ultimate Guard. Pretty cool. Uh, the guy with holding two tusks or whatever, Ultimate Guard, like hugging the logo. And you got like the little dice tray. Cool. It does say Ultimate Guard on the back of it. I do like the little foiling right here. And uh, pretty cool. Uh, really nice, sturdy construction. It's probably some like plastic or cardboard on the inside. I'm not sure what it's made of, but it seems very sturdy. And it's a nice, solid thunk in there. And uh, it's a tight fit. It doesn't really want to... Oh, it does slide out a little bit, but really not too bad. Uh, they, they will fit in this way, but it doesn't look like they fit in very snug this way. I think they want you to put them in on the side so you kind of just open it up oh, kind of set it up just slide them in there very tight fit the bottom one is kind of a tight fit the top one is a little bit looser the tolerances I guess are a little bit different uh, everything slides in pretty nicely though I'm not worried about anything like falling out and I feel like this product will last quite a while I do wish that the deck boxes could fit in a little bit this way better, but then they'd have to make it a little bit taller, and uh, yeah. So I guess uh, right off the bat, let's just kind of go into the dice tray and see what kind of stuff fits in there. It is a big uh, space. I have a whole a whole bunch of uh, spin-down dice. First of all, I'm curious if uh, a mojo counter will fit in there. And it doesn't really look like a mojo counter will fit in there. I bet if I took out the dice tray and just slipped it in there, I can fit it in right there. Which would be cool if I do want the option, I can just bring it in there. And uh, let's see how many dice it fits in here. Four, six, eight, 
Okay, I have 10. I could probably, I can fit in 12, I believe. I don't even have that many. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can fit in 14 if I wanted. Uh, oh wait, 12. 3, 6, n yeah, I could fit in 12. I'm sorry about my math. So I got a bunch of dice in there. Pretty good. Um, let's, let's see the dice container. Pretty full, nothing's going on. And it is independent, it says, so I should be able to just open this from the side. Open it up and uh, slide out the dice container. Close it up. Pretty cool. Cool. So it holds a whole bunch of dice. Let's see. I know it's going to hold these uh, just like little counters from those old relic packs. So I can just put a bunch of cool stuff in there. It is uh, awesome. And uh, I'm really happy that it fits the spin down dice because that is probably the most popular dice in Magic. And it holds all my spin down dice I have. So that's even better. Uh, will it fit like cards in this thing that is something I am curious about if it will like fit just just some cards uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14, 15. so let's just see like if I wanted to put like a sideboard or something in here doesn't look like it's gonna fit cards in there uh, that are sleeved but I think it will fit unsleeved cards and this is just uh, 60 cards unsleeved it is a little bit tight but uh it actually will. It will fit like 60 cards unsleeved in there pretty nicely. Pretty cool. So if you wanted like to throw in just like unsleeved deck or some tokens or some lands, uh, throw them in there and it will work. Pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't fit sleeve cards though. So very tight fit and uh, cool. Alright, let's uh, move on to, I would say, the actual card containers now. The card boxes. It does come with two. They are identical sizes. So I'll just do my testing on one of them. Pretty cool. This itself almost looks like a dex box or something like that, or like a birdhouse. Anyways, let's fill up one and see how many we can fit inside of it. First of all, I want to see if the Mojo Life Counter will fit in there. And it won't. Uh, it does fit inside deck boxes, but it doesn't want to fit inside these. I had the same problem with their the Boulder deck case. It didn't want to fit. Uh, and it's very tight if I put it in there sideways. So this is kind of out of the, the deck box if I wanted to use it. Let's see a top loader. Top loader, it won't fit. It won't even fit sideways. It could fit in there this way, but then I don't think it's going to fit inside the box. Yeah, it's not really going to fit in there. So it's not meant for top loaders. Um, it says it will fit 100 double sleeve cards. Let me just check. Holds up to 200 double sleeve cards or 240 single sleeve Ardemon Guard cards. So right here, this is a pile of 60. This is what a 60 card double sleeve deck fits like right off the bat. And uh, when it says it holds uh, 200 double sleeve cards, it means 100 and 100. You're not going to be able to fit 200 in one of these. It's divided up. Each of them will hold like a commander deck. So this is 60 cards. And I believe this is 40. And uh, there we go. It, it, it does fit uh, 100 double sleeve cards. And these are not ultimate guard sleeves. I believe these are KNC Hypermats and KNC Perfect Fits. So it fits in there perfectly, really tight, really tight fit in there. Uh, it is quite heavy now, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of shake it and just see what goes on. Really nice. Very surprised it's not opening up. But at the same time, really happy. So I don't think anything's going to happen if you just, like, drop this. Got the nice little thumb grip. It's kind of hard because <laughs> it's hard to just get your finger in there. So I pull it out. It's 100 uh, double sleeve cards in there. It fits perfectly. Uh, not much room for anything else. So you couldn't really put tokens along with it. I mean, you maybe could, but only like four. <laughs> so that's 100 uh, double sleeve cards right there. And now uh, onto some single sleeve cards. It said it will fit 240 single sleeve cards. So that should be 120 uh, single sleeve. So that should be two 60 card decks. This is a 60 single sleeve cards. This is 40 single sleeve cards. So I'm at 100 single sleeve cards. I'm going to go in and throw in the extra 20, see if it will fit the 160. And uh, just like uh, the boulder, uh, I guess Ultra Ultimate Guard uh, sleeves are a little bit thinner, so it doesn't want to fit all of these. Then again, I am uh, I'm like five short from fitting 120. Uh, single sleeve cards in here so almost can fit two decks in here almost if you had the ultimate uh, guard sleeves it says that you could but I don't have any so I can't test that but I would say that it fits 95 single sleeve cards in here 
of pretty much any brand. And then I want to do another test on just on sleep cards. Each of these piles is 60. I have quite a few because I think it's going to fit quite a few. I have four piles. So I believe that's 240 if I'm doing my math correct. So I'm going to go ahead and put in one pile in. This is just 60 cards. This is 120. It's crazy how much sleeves add to the thickness of cards. <clears throat> 120 plus uh, 180, 180 cards unsleeved, and probably half of this pile. Mm, fit it in there. It's very tight. Oop. Let's see how many are left out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. So that means uh, 36 went in. Uh, 36, 180 plus 36 is uh, 216, I believe. So I think it fits 216 unsleeved cards. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Unless I'm doing my math wrong, let me know. <laughs> so 216 unsleeved cards. Pretty nice. Uh, fits a whole bunch in there. You go ahead and put this in. It should be even heavier. Slips in, slips in there really nicely. Closes quite simply. You don't have no uh, no buttons or anything like that. And let's shake this one. Kind of see if I can get it open. So I actually did get it. Managed to get it to open, but I did have to shake it quite hard. And uh, <laughs> yeah, very hard. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. Yeah, so with the weight of all these cards in here, which is quite crazy, I was able to shake it open, but uh, more than likely, you're not going to be having this many cards in there. So, uh, you know, it seems like a really nice uh, deck box. I'm uh, really happy I got it. I really like the color of it. The skin on it feels really nice. The material on the inside feels real soft and nice. And uh, I like how it has independent... Uh, just doors for each of the box. So if you only want to play one, you only have to have one open to just take it out real quick, close it real fast. The magnets seem to be very nice. It doesn't look like uh, they're going to be falling off or anything like that. They're kind of sewn in there. You don't have to worry about the Velcro glue like coming off like some of the deck boxes uh, like this one. And um, yeah, and uh, real quick, I also wanted to see if uh, the Boulder deck box fits in here. And it does. It fits in there great. And you can even put like some more cards in there. I wonder if the 100 plus boulder fits in here. Probably. That would be pretty cool. So you could have these in there, but the thing is, it's kind of hard to get them out. <laughs> but nice. Uh, so that fits in there as well. You got these cool uh, little card bins, I would say. And yeah, it's just a really nice deck box. Uh, it is a little bit expensive. I think it was like what was it, like $30 or something like that, which is pretty pricey for a, a thing to just store your cards in. But if you really like your cards and you want something nice to carry them around in, you know. Sorry, my memory card filled up real quick. Uh, like I was saying, if you want something nice for your cards, it is a little bit expensive. I believe like $30, $29. Just kind of expensive price point for a deck box. But if you want something nice that looks good, it's going to hold a bunch of cards and dice in a nice compact container. Uh, it definitely holds more than the Saturn Tower. This holds... Uh, quite a bit of cards with um, and it has a nice little deck uh, dice storage box which fits a lot of stuff in it or if you want you can take it out and put just like a, some unsleeved cards in here which is pretty cool it's got a nice uh, texture nice feel to it good quality very good quality and a really nice premium deck product I would say uh, this doesn't make you better at the game it doesn't improve or do anything it's just if you want something nice for your cards and you really like your cards this is a pretty cool product and uh, I like the magnets on it they're pretty strong I was able to shake it open but I had a huge pile of cards in there so that uh, that is ex uh, that's acceptable to me I wasn't able to shake it open when I just had double sleeved or single sleeved cards in there it is cool but I'm sure you could and uh, yeah just a really nice product by ultimate guard I'm happy to have one now and uh, yeah, I'm going to bring it to my friend's house and put my decks in it and bring it to Friday Night Magic and uh, just having a lot of fun with it. Pretty cool product, put a, a lot of stuff in it. Uh, you can fit your commander decks, you can fit your modern, your standard decks, or just your fun tabletop decks in here. Anyways, I just wanted to go over this product with you all, share uh, my opinion, and kind of see what can fit inside of it. Uh, real quick, I also just want to see if just like a standard Ultra Pro deck box will fit. It will fit in there. 
And uh, I want to see if a Legion deck box will fit. Uh, barely. It will kind of fit in there. I mean, it, it is, so it will fit, but it's very tight. Uh, this one will not fit in there. And uh, Ultra Pro, Ultra Pro will fit in there. So cool. Just a couple more tests to see. And uh, yeah, pretty cool deck box. Really happy about it. Um, I'll. If anything I noticed happens, like with the quality of it, or if it breaks or something like that, I'll make a post, uh, post video about it or something, just going over what happened or the quality. But anyways, I think it's a really nice product. I think it's really well made. It seems like the tolerances are really nice. Everything's really close together. Nice stitching. Really nice texture on the outside. Very good. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to use it. Anyways, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope this video helped. And uh, if you guys notice anything or have any opinions about it, I'd love to hear about it uh, down below. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all guys later and uh, take it easy and have a wonderful day. All right, I just have one more little thing I just want to add to the video. Uh, while going over it, I did want to see if the Mojo Life Counter would fit in there. And I said it didn't really fit in there. But going back on it and playing with it, I mean, it does fit in there. It's a little bit tight. But it totally does fit in there. So, uh, yeah, it will fit in there if you are insisted on bringing it, kind of like me. So, there you go. It fits in there. It is tight. You can kind of see it doesn't, like, move around. But the Mojo Life Counter does fit in there. Yep. All right, cool. Just want to do a little update. And, uh, yeah. All right. I'll catch you all later.